Right Design is an all-in-one platform for content marketing. It's a fairly new tool, but it has big ambitions, like ranking among the big players. So in this video, I'm going to put Right Design to the test. First, we'll take a look at what's on offer and see if their website passes the trust test. Then I'll give you a quick demo to show you how the tool works. I'll cover the three key areas you need to know about. And then I'll dive into each area and cover it in more detail. Then I'll get into the pricing. And then as a bonus, I'm going to share with you my current SEO workflow. You'll get to see what tool I use for my content creation. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. The interface is hands down the best interface on any tool that I've seen. Okay, the Writer Zen website is on a .NET domain. Perhaps they couldn't get the .com. Don't you just hate it when that happens? The website is nice and clean and as usual, I'm seeing words like incredible content, killer content and amazing content. We've seen this before, haven't we? In fact, we see this at every review. Landing pages making big promises, using those emotional words, or maybe everybody's hiring the same copywriter. Either way, the copy is designed to tug at your emotions. See here, uncover gripping content ideas, powerful analytics, and optimization options to leave your competitors in the dirt. That said, WriterZen does have a free trial, which is the digital equivalent of putting your money where your mouth is. So in this case, maybe we can excuse the strong use of buzzwords and who knows, maybe they're true. So let's fire up the tool and see what's what. When you log in, you'll see the three main areas, topic discovery, content creator and keyword explorer. Now you'll see in a moment that this actually has been very well organized, very well thought out. It is actually the content creation process all under one roof. Seriously, hang on to your pants because this is going to be good. You have a sidebar here with some handy shortcuts to each of the three key areas, as well as a plagiarism checker and a keyword import screen where you can import your own keywords. So let's start with topic discovery. Type in a keyword you want to explore, select which country you want to rank in and the language and hit search and let the tool do its thing. Now, in order to save time, I've already done a search. So let me show you. Down here, you'll see the keyword cryptocurrency. Note that I didn't put in a long tail search like how to invest in cryptocurrency. Instead, I entered a seed keyword or a root keyword just so I can get a broad sense of what's out there. So I'll click on cryptocurrency and these are the results I got. Ahrefs has a similar function where you can see your keywords in themes. The results are ordered by relevancy, but I can order them by search volume too, which is handy. The search volume is the sum of all the traffic volume across all the keywords in the cluster. You can set the relevancy to closely, which is really narrow or widely, which is broad or leave the default, which is medium. This is very impressive. Ranking today is mostly about relevancy. You can get very high up in the search results without any links, as long as your page is very relevant relative to your competition, of course, but these guys get it. Now this topic discovery dashboard gives you all these clusters or topics, if you like, or themes. And from these, you can get great ideas about what to write. Now take search volume with a massive pinch of salt. They're not accurate, despite what you read anywhere. The exception is if a keyword has a lot of search volume, then some of the big tools do a pretty good job of estimating or guesstimating what that search volume is. Otherwise, forget it. Just use it as a guide. Now, let me show you something really cool. Let's say that we want to explore this topic, cryptocurrency. You click on show ideas and this opens up this view here. Now, here are headlines to consider. There's 30 there. And obviously, these are coming from the search results. And on the right hand side, you have Google suggest insights, questions and searches with prepositions and comparison based searches. And if we scroll down even further, you'll see that you have Google related searches. This is very well done, I have to say. Now, this is something really cool. If you like a particular title, you can click on this plus sign here and add it to a list. So I'm going to create a new keyword list and I'm going to call it crypto ideas. I'm going to add that and I can add any questions or related searches or keywords to that list, which I can later use to create my content. How cool is that? 
Now, I have to say, the way that they've organized this data, this amount of data into a dashboard and made it look really good is, to use a popular copywriting term, mind-blowing. It's a big UX challenge to make big data pretty. Just ask Google. But these guys have nailed it. Okay, now let's move on to Keyword Explorer. Here you type in a keyword you wish to rank for and WriteZen finds all the relevant keywords and ranks them by <clears throat> search volume. Notice here that you can do an all-in title search. I'll talk about this later, but for now, don't do an all-in title search. It will use some of your plan quota. Instead, use this section to explore a keyword and make sure there are enough opportunities there that you like before you commit to doing an all-in title search. As before, you can set the country and the language. You can also crawl a domain and steal all the keywords. I'm gonna switch this back to keyword. And just so you know, this is one of those processes where you hit search and you go and make a coffee because it can take a little while. Thankfully, I already did a search, so let's look at that. Let's click on the cryptocurrency keyword, which I already searched. And here you see the estimated search volume. And a nice touch is the fact that it shows you what they think is the search volume for last month and the average over the past 12 months. If only these tools were accurate, this dashboard would be a dream. Now this is handy, cost per click, as well as keyword ideas and, well, the total search volume. A very thoughtful section is the Google Trends dash here. That at least will give you an indication of whether there is traffic, although Google has done a good job of hiding the numbers. Thanks, Google. Now, where Ryzen really excels is in providing well-thought-out filters all in one place. And the big plus with Writer Zen is the all-in title search. This is genius. I've always done this manually and seeing this in a tool brings tears to my eyes. So let me show you an example of filtering as I would use it. Here I'm going to specify that I want a minimum volume of 100. I know what I said about search volumes, but I'm just filtering out the data. At least filtering out the stuff that the tool has no click data for. I can exclude words here from the searches, so I'm going to exclude download and free and PDF. Apply. Word count, this is a really cool thing which Longtail Pro used to really excel at. And I'm going to say, only show me search terms that have a minimum of four words. And now the all-in title. You can see here that there are five and a half thousand keywords. And I'm going to use some credits doing the all-in title search. Now this will take a while, so I'm not going to do this here. I'm going to show you a different keyword for which I already did an all-in title search. This is a keyword I just typed, get website on Google. Let's use some filters here. Let's exclude anything with less than 50 searches. We'll ignore the word count. And the KGR is Writer Zen's own score. The lower that score is, the better the keyword is for you to target. If your domain has little to no authority, then you really want to look at keywords that have a very low KGR. So let's set the KGR to a maximum of 11, okay? Now here you have a bunch of keywords and you can see the all in title as well as the keyword score. Now, more importantly, you can see Google Trend data here. For example, this one here has zero under the all in title column. And not surprisingly, the keyword score is zero. So this is perfect if you have no authority. There are nine words in this search query and the query itself is how to make your website show up on Google. The volume, as I said, you take with a pinch of salt, but the Google Trends data looks good. So you can see how quickly you can find a good keyword to target. You just entered a root keyword, get a broad sense of what's going on, and then use the filters to really zone in on that perfect keyword. And everything is on one screen. Impressive. Now let's go over to the content creator. Here you click on a new project, you give your project a name, you set the target location and the language, you click add and Writer Zen goes and gathers the data necessary for this new content. Now to save time, I've already chosen a keyword that I want to target. So now let's get to the content. Okay, so this is my keyword, cryptocurrency, how to invest. Let's open that up. And you'll see three steps here. The first step shows you the top 10 search results. This is a nice idea, but you can't drag the column width. So you can't see the full titles of each website without actually clicking to open each one in a browser. 
That defies the point of gathering the SERPs in that window in the first place. The data is already there. We just need a wider column or to be able to change the width of the column so we can see all the titles in that window. It's a shame. Now that said, the developers do seem keen to listen to all requests. So this could be a reality in the future. The Suggests Insights window is super useful. Here you can see Google Suggests along with trend data. Beautiful. Hover your cursor and click on any suggest you'd like to include in your document and right then adds it to the list as a H2. In the top right, you'll see a guide that shows you what to aim for in your document, from word count to paragraphs, headings and images. That's all based on the competing SERPs, of course. And below that, you have a handy outline builder. Add a title, description and your H2s and then hit save to move to step two. Here's where you add the keywords you want to target in your document. You can see volumes and trend data to guide you visually as well as a general use column that comes in really handy. It shows you how many times a keyword or a search term has been used by your competitors. Opportunity keywords are there to help you see important relevant keywords which you can quickly also add to your keyword list with a simple click. And a really nice touch is the fact that any keywords or search terms that you add are highlighted. It's so nice. When you're happy with the keywords you want to target, you hit save and move on to step three where the writing takes place. As you write, you have this window in the right hand side with various areas from your document outline to your chosen keywords and scraped questions that you can quickly add to your document. And of course, you have a score at the top to let you know how you're doing. As you can see, WriterZen is a powerhouse when it comes to the process of content creation. They've really thought about the interface and taking you through the entire process of content creation. The interface is hands down the best interface on any tool that I've seen. For me, WriterZen is now my favorite keyword research tool. The Topic Explorer section is a very handy tool. Keyword clustering is part of the SEO game and this tool significantly cuts down the time it takes to do that. Now the content creation section is good, but I'm not a fan of it. I'd much rather have the tool show me relevant keywords I can choose to add to my document rather than me having to pick those keywords. But overall, I think WriterZen is a good tool with huge potential. I really like it. Now let's talk about pricing. There's a free seven day trial, which as you know, I really like to see on SaaS tools. The lowest pay plan is $49 per month. It's competitively priced compared to other keyword tools, but WriterZen really is a Swiss army knife in content marketing when you compare it with other tools at this price range. The next plan at $70 per month is extremely good value for money and something you should be able to afford if you're doing client work. Now, this tool is currently on offer in the AppSumo marketplace. One payment gets you lifetime access to the tool. I'm not an affiliate for AppSumo. I don't make any money for sending you there, but I think this tool is worth every penny. If you can get hold of that deal. If you're too late for the deal, then I'm sorry. Please subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss any of the deals when I announce them. Okay, now let's get to my bonus. I said I would share with you my current SEO content creation process and here it is. I begin my keyword research in Writer Zen. I start with the Topic Explorer to get an overall idea of keyword clusters and topic ideas. I then do my keyword research in the keyword section to determine if there are better variants of my original keyword that I can target. And while I'm at it, I gather all the relevant keywords I want to include in my document. Then I head on over to Phrase, which is my favorite content creation tool. If you'd like to see how Phrase works and why I like it so much, then click this video. And if you have any comments, then please leave them in the comments below this video. And while you're here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.